Okay, so you now you know there are two ways, but we use lupin using sealing process. Can we look at this one? This is you know there are uh, several type of switching we can use one way switching, two way switching, and as well as uh, intermediate switching. So according to our switching way, we we can use this sealing process and switches in between our lighting circuit wiring. So let's see how this one way switching is achieved in this wiring diagram. So you can see there are two lighting points. This first bar is controlled by this first one way switch, and the second bar is controlled by this second one way switch. So you can see from the consumer unit, we will start from this bar. Uh, from the consumer unit, we will get this uh, light conductor or the phase conductor and the neutral conductor. So first, this is count to this loop terminal of the ceiling rows and this neutral term uh, con conductor to the neutral terminal. And directly we connect this neutral to this light number one. Then from this loop terminal, we will take this conductor to one side of the one way switch, to this point of the one way switch, and the return point of the switch, then connected to this live terminal or the switch terminal of this ceiling rods. Then, using this terminal, we will take the live, live wire to the lamp. Then uh, we have to loop the wiring to the second bulb. So we use this uh, loop terminal. And from this loop terminal, we take the phase conductor and connect it to the loop terminal of this second ceiling rose. As well as we have to take this neutral conductor coming from the consumer unit loop at this first ceiling rose. And we connect it to the neutral terminal of this second ceiling works. Then same wiring is done. We connect it to the one, uh, one second one is switch and other side to this switch terminal. And from here, we connect it to the lamp too. So if we have another lighting point, we will do the same looping method. We will use this looping terminal and take the phase conductor and also from this neutral terminal we will take the neutral conductor to the second or third lighting point so the same thing is happen starting from this distribution board we will loop all these bulbs together and connect it as a radial circuit so this is how we done one way switching using the ceiling rods Okay, this is another thing. Sometimes we use one switch to control two light points. Okay. So we have one switch, we have two bulbs. All these two bulbs are controlled by this one one way switch. So let's see how we do it using this looping system. From the distribution board, we take the phase conductor as well as from the neutral link, we take the neutral conductor. This one connected to the loop pin terminal of the first ceiling loss, and this is second bulb, and we have only one switch. 
the neutral also connected to this neutral terminal. Then same thing is happening. This is going to the switch and return path. Come to the switch terminal. From the switch terminal, we connect it to the lamp holder. The neutral directly here. So if we have another bulb, if you have another bulb, you have to use this looping terminal and give the phase conductor and neutral conductor to the next bulb point. Uh, but we are controlling two point two bulb uh, these two bulbs using first switch. So what we have done is from same switch we have to control this one. So the, from this switch. Switch terminal, we take another light conductor and connect it to the switch or the light terminal of this second ceiling rose and connect it to the second bulb. And neutral, we can take from this neutral terminal and give it a neutral terminal of this ceiling rose and connect it to the second bulb. So you can see both of these first bulb and second bulb are. Control it by one switch. There are two bulbs. I suppose this is understand by you. So because uh, from the same switch point, these two bulbs are connected. This is the, from this terminal, we can connect all the bulbs controlled by the switch. One is here, and other one is here. Neutral, and we can take the neutral conductor from this neutral bulb. So if you have another bulb, we have to use the previous uh, kind of a arrangement. So likewise, according to our requirement and the, use, uh, the type of the switching and control we are using, we can uh, do the wiring via this ceiling process without go using any junction box. Okay, uh, next we will discuss two-way switching. How to do the two-way switching via a CLE ROS. If you can remember, we discussed about this one in last day lecture about two-way switching. In two-way switching, we know that in two-way switch, we have three points, not like in one-way switch, two points. In two-way switching, in these switches, we have three points. These are two way switches. We have one common and we will take as this is common. And this is L1 and L2. We have to connect these two together. And this is to our phase, con uh, phase conductor point. And this is to one end of the bulb and other end of the bulb should be connected to the neutral point. So the same thing can be done using this ceiling rows. That means uh, first what we have done, this light conductor from the consumer unit first connected to the live terminal of ceiling box. Mm -hmm. 
then a neutral conductor to the neutral terminal of the saline rocks. After that, we will use this loop, uh, this terminal to give the connection to the common point of the one-way or two-way switch. From here, we take a one. Then, From this point of the two-way switch, we take another wire and join these two together. We join these two together. We will have L1, L1 here to have an idea. Then uh, again, this L2 is connected L1. There is another common point in here. After that, from this common point, it is connected to the switch terminal of the ceiling rods. So this one, uh, this one we can uh, just connect it to this point. So it is I have mentioned here. Then uh, from the switch terminal, we can uh, give the wiring to this live point of the holder, and from this neutral point we can give the connection to here. Okay. So you can have a single wires. Uh, as usual also no, no no worries so in previous in every cases not only here also you can have separate uh, this phase conductor nuclear conductor no need to use that cable okay so this is how we run the uh, to a switch in we are sealing rows so you you can be able to do the same thing if you use an intermediate switch in also you can uh, first draw the sketch of the intermediate switch then according to that you can um, design how to connect all these uh, two -way switches and intermediate switch and the uh, and this lamp holder and the ceiling rows uh, by yourself so this is the basic things you if you know the basics or the fundamental things of this uh, uh, looping system a wiring uh, connected uh, joints you, you at the at only at the ceiling rosas and switch points any kind of a lighting system you can be wired using this fundamental knowledge okay so to get an idea i have shown these three ways so you should be able to do the intermediate switching part also. And also in uh, normally in practice regulations given that definitely that uh, earth wire should be there, but in practice we are not using in our installation. So it is not a worry. So because we are not much using metallic parts fittings in our lighting circuit. So it is better if you could use earth wire also. We have some metallic parts, definitely we should use. So otherwise these two conductors are enough. Okay, so these are the fundamental things about these lighting circuits. Okay, uh, this is one example if you, uh, from the knowledge uh, you have learned up to now, you can uh, give the answer for this. Uh, normally we use this kind of uh, one square millimeter cables to wire a 5 ampere circuit or if you use a six or six ampere circuits okay 
if I ask how many bulbs can be connected, okay, this question normally ask, asking you know, how many bulbs can we connect to 5 ampere circuit. Okay, so that means if you use a uh, I ampere so protective device and we connect several number of bulbs. So you have to find how much bulbs that can be connected to 5 amperes. From your knowledge, first please try to find this value. Okay, then I will explain how to find this. Okay, normally, do you know? Uh, in practice, normally, how many bulbs you are connected to this kind of 6 ampere or 5 ampere circuit? Okay, as per the regulation, normally we know we allowed for one point, one lighting point is 100 watt. So, if we have number of, n number of bulbs, then what is the total consumption? It is equal to n into then from this circuit it is allowed 5 amperes and we know this one no? P is equal to I is equal to a single phase we will take as 230 i is fine when you do this calculation n is equal 230 into 5 and divided by 100 get 11.5 number of bulbs. 11.5 numbers mean this five we cannot achieve. So that's why we tell that we can connect lower number of bulbs. Okay, uh, but it is better if we keep 20% allowance for future can If you uh, at the beginning of the installation without connecting uh, total 11 number of bulbs to the uh, uh, this 5 ampere circuit, uh, we can connect only eight or nine number of lamps. Then if we do so, we can add another two or three bulbs in our future purpose. So for my, when you're going to dis, do a design, it is better to allow this 20% future use also. So if you allow this 20% uh, 20 20 future use, we can only connect eight or nine lamps to this kind of a high ampere circuit. Okay, without allowing this 20% future use, uh, let me know for this, this 6 ampere MCB, how many bulbs that can we connect? If you use a 6 ampere MCB, without allowing this 20%, uh, how much the maximum number of bulbs that can be connected to 6 ampere MCB? 13 bulbs. Uh, normally, after giving 20%, this uh, value can be reduced. How to find the maximum number? 
e is equal e i number is n hundred is two thirty and the circuit rating is six is two thirty divided into six divided by hundred it will come as thirteen point eight. So the maximum should be not 14, it should be 30. This is the maximum number. Okay. So this six ampere MCB, we can connect less than uh, equal or lesser to this 30. If it is larger than 13, we have to go for higher rating MCB. These are very fundamental things. 